What's up, boys and girls? Me again, Jimmy the Fish, playing with fire again. Don't mind the mess. I got my grill cover there on the bench, and we have to put in the cushions because my dog likes to bite them. So, this is a review, hands on, the friendly sweet magnesium block flint steel scraper chain. I was looking for magnesium raw, uh, magnesium blocks. But I wanted something of decent quality and I didn't want to spend six, seven dollars on them um, on each block. So I found this company. It's a Swedish company, but they're made in China. But they give you it's a three pack of three blocks, three complete sets for eleven ninety nine. So for me that's that was the right price, you know, four dollars each block. So, we are going to scrape some magnesium into this thing. I already played with it yesterday um, and it caught fire, but I didn't record it. And I forget to record a lot of things and I'm doing things and I forget to record them because I get into them and you know, shit, I should have recorded it. You're supposed to scrape off, I think it's a, a quarter, like a quarter size, um, uh, quarter size uh, residues, you know, of the little shavings to get a, that's the recommended size for, for a good startup. Magnesium is, you have to be, it has to be processed you know, in order for it to light up, you know, the whole block itself by itself won't light up with a spark. I didn't say open flame, I said spark. It would light up, light up with a spark. You need to process and actually same thing as um, it's tender. You need to process in order for it to light up. So that's being processed there. And we got, uh, I don't think it's a quarter size, but probably the size of a dime. That's what I want to think. Yeah, it's probably the size of a dime. But let me see if we can see the spark that you know so whenever you're doing this magnesium block thing you need to have your tinder right next to it so when the light if it's you know starts up throw it in there so you can light up because it goes fast i mean it just burns really fast uh magnesium the good thing about magnesium it doesn't need oxygen to um to burn it creates its own oxygen so that's the cool thing about magnesium um, and I think they use magnesium for underwater welding. I'm not sure, but because they, you know, they weld underwater with, you know, material they don't need oxygen to burn. Um, so I'm thinking this is one of them. But let me see if I can strike it. There it goes. It's burning, it's burning, 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 burning. And it's burning. You throw whatever in there, it catches on fire. And as you can see, there's a residue there. It burns pretty fast. Uh, so it's a quick, and it's still burning. You know, it's, it's going through the aluminum foil. This is very hot stuff. It burns extremely hot and it's still burning. You can 
can see that. Still burning. So this stuff is good tender, good tender, good tender, you know, for humid environments. Um, so it's fat wood, you know, I love fat wood. That's my number one thing. But, you know, the magnesium rust is a good alternative too. And it's a nice little kit for survival kits, you know. And not just the, the rod, but you also have your magnesium. You have two things, you know, together. So that's pretty decent. I'm going to do another video on testing the other thing I wanted to test. So thank you guys for watching. See you soon again. Bye-bye.